What's up people, it's DevSage here, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the filter array method. So filter in JavaScript is a higher order function, which is a function that either takes in another function or that returns a function. In this case, filter takes in a function. Filter is an array method that basically does what it sounds like it's doing. It's filtering out some elements from some array and returning a brand new array with all of those filtered elements. So filter is basically going to take in a callback function that's going to be applied to every element in the original array. The callback function should return true or false for each element. If it returns true, then that element should be included in the new array. If the callback function returns false, then that element will be filtered out and it won't be included in the new array. So let's see it in action. So let's say we have an array, const r equals one, two, three, one to 10. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And let's say we wanted to filter out all of the even numbers from this array. So how can we do that? So we can use filter. So what we can do is we can say const um, odds, since we're filtering out the evens, we're gonna have an array of odds. So let's say odds equals r dot filter. Filter takes in a callback function. It can just be an arrow function. And the callback function is going to take in an argument, let's call it in, which basically, rem remember I said, this the, the callback function is gonna be applied to each individual element. So in is essentially representing the current element that filter is currently looking at in the process. So what did we say we wanted to do? We said we wanted to filter out all of the even numbers. So we need to return true if this current element in is odd. If it's even, then we return false and it won't get included in the return array. So let's say if in mod two equals zero. If it's even, then we return false. Else, if we get to this point, then we know our, our number is odd, then we return true. And that's pretty much it. So let, let's test it out. So let's say console log, let's print out the original array and then also odds. Let's run this. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the original array here. And then we have this new array, one, three, five, seven, nine, which are all of our odd numbers from the original array. So odds, so we, we called array.filter on the original array here, one to 10. And the callback function is applied to each element in the original array and returns true or false based off of if that element should be included in the new array. So filter is kind of similar to array.map, uh, except array.map returns an actual value that is going to take the place of the current element. In this case, filter just returns true or false if the current element should be included or not in the new array. One thing to take note is that filter does not modify this original array at all. It returns a new array. So if we forget to assign this to a va to a variable, uh, this is a effectively doing nothing. This is just is this is basically just orphaned code. So let's let's comment odds out because it no longer exists. But if we think if we make the mistake of thinking that filter is going to just work on the original array, then we would be incorrect because let's print this. So we have the, the original one, two, three, four, five, da, 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 all the way to 10. So we have to remember to assign this to a variable. And that's pretty much it for filter. Filter is a higher order function, a function that takes in another function that basically filters out some elements from an array 
based off of some callback function condition essentially uh, that you give it if you like this video leave a like subscribe if you want to see more content of mine if you want to stay updated with what i'm doing join my discord i started a new discord community so that web developers can come together and basically like learn from each other and network and grow and we're kind of small so we're looking for more people to join so if you want to join that link is going to be in the description so come and check us out uh but uh other than that peace